Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor volleyball player. If you've been hanging around the last little while, you will know that I started doing reactions to the very popular anime show, Haikyuu. Um, I recently finished watching season one, episode two, where we got to meet some of the other teammates, some second and third year players at Karasuno High School. Um, we met Tanaka, the second year who's just very excited to not be a youngster anymore. We met Suga, who I thought was very sweet. And my guy, Daichi, captain of the year, in my opinion. Um, so I think we are gearing up for the big match between Kageyama, Hinata, and Tanaka against a mystery team. So a lot is on the line because Kageyama might lose his setter's position if they lose. So I'm th I think this is what this episode is gonna be about, I hope. Um, so yeah, let's dive in. You guys, you taught me so much about senpai, senpai. Somebody will correct me on that, I know it. But now I know that that means an upperclassman. You know, I did play pro in China and in South Korea for several years. So I am aware of the hierarchy in age. In Korea, they call the older girls Onni, like big sister. So I am used to that, but it was really cool to hear it in a Japanese context. So again, any questions I throw out at you guys, please help me out in the comments. You are awesome. And I love all the help that you're giving me. But episode three is coming at you and it is called The Formidable Ally. So I can't wait. Okay, The Formidable Ally. Here we go. <laughs> Tanaka's the tough guy. Um, so I'm not sure who they're playing yet, but are is that team allowed to practice? Like, why do they have to be so sneaky? Like, of course they want to get ready for this game, right? Um, so I'm a little confused about that. Tanaka, he's got that. He's got that soft spot. He obviously wants to win. He's on their team, so he's gonna do what it takes to help them win. But I'm very curious how these other guys are getting training, or if they're even training for this game. He's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is so cool. Like so easy going, comes in with that scarf on, like doesn't care, completely calls Tanaka out, which is amazing, but it's just like so chill. I wonder if it's gonna be a competition between Daichi and Suga for my favorite. I don't know. <laughs> T 
Tanaka's feeling good, feeling fresh. That was Kageyama's look, could you tell? <laughs> I can't, like he not as having like a stroke over here and he's just like serious side eye, like don't even talk to me. Oh gosh, love that look though. No, just kidding. No, I, I didn't even do it right. I mean, I get it. I don't want to get it, but his like setting position is on the line here. So if he loses, like Kageyama cannot be the setter. So I understand why he wants to set every ball to Tanaka. It obviously, I mean, in a real game, obviously the setter wants to set the hitters who are gonna score. It doesn't make for a balanced offense, but I can, I kind of agree with him on this point right now. I'm not sure he not as ready. Okay, so Suga is the like current setter for the school. So first of all, I think it is beyond cool that he is taking Hinata out to practice and giving him pointers and tips like really good guy, really cares about the team and it seems like he cares about Hinata as a person. So for him to take time to really give him some coaching is beyond cool. Win in my books, love this guy so far. Um, I wonder how he feels about Kageyama coming to Karasuno High School as a setter. Like, is he somebody who's gonna fight for that setter's position? Does he just like want to be on the team? Like, I'm, I'm curious how this dynamic will continue if Kageyama and Hinata win this game. My God, that is so cute.
気がするっていうかひなたはなんでそんなに影山に張り合うの俺ならできるだけ強いやつとは争いたくないけどな中学の試合影山は何をやってもうまくて背も俺よりずっとでかくてとにかく強くて目の前に立たれるのがすっげえ嫌でしたわかる気がするだからその影山を倒してやろうと思って烏野に来たんだけどじゃあひなたはさ影山を倒したくてバレエやるのえっこいつ昼休みもらったのか影山を倒せるくらい強くなりたいんですそうすればもっといろんな強い相手とも互角に戦えるし Okay, I am loving this conversation. I think Hinata is undoubtedly motivated, but I feel like sometimes his motivation is directed in the wrong spot. So he faced Kageyama in middle school. He just wanted to be king of the court, beat him, and like that's all he had in his mind. So I think now that they're teammates, he's having this hard time like separating. His desire to beat Kageyama with the fact that they are now teammates. I think that this is great that he's talking to Suga, letting all this stuff out, and like as an older player, for Suga to offer him some perspective and make him think about things. I think this is gonna be a really, really important relationship for Hinata. I, am, I love that he's opening up to him right now. Gosh, dude, we know that you think Kageyama's the best. Like, why would you be focusing on him so hard since that middle school game if you didn't think like he was the best? If you're up here, everybody else is coming and trying to climb to chase you. We, we know that this is Kageyama and this is Hinata trying to get him. So, Everybody knows that. Why is he having such a hard time admitting it? That ego needs to relax. Also, side note, maybe the fact that Kageyama is seeing Hinata out there practicing will like kind of start to change his opinion of Hinata a little bit. I'm not gonna get hopeful. He always lets me down, but maybe. Write this down, like the quote of this show so far. If he was your most powerful opponent, maybe he can become your most powerful ally. Like seriously, write that down. That's unreal. Like I just go back to the flashbacks from last episode, like Hinata and Kageyama back to back, like being amazing together. And it's true. Instead of focusing on him being his most powerful opponent, he needs to see him as being his most powerful ally and tool to becoming great. <sighs> Mama Suga, I know you guys told me that's what he is, has got some wisdom that he is throwing around and I'm liking it. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. He just wants to be in there so bad. <laughs> I still think he's like a little puppy, too cute.
I know what this is now, thanks to all you smarty pantses out there. <laughs> it's an ad break. Thank you for clarifying that for me last time. Right, Tanaka, you're not studying. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. New character alert. Um, okay. The new first years. I'm getting excited. Okay. So Kageyama's a setter. Hinata, probably an outside hitter. So... I'm guessing that one of the new players needs to be a libero. Um, and then maybe a middle. Just, you know, to round out the squad a little bit. Um, okay, I'm very excited. A little bit of a shank there. <laughs> P.S. In case you forgot. <laughs> Did he shank it into the tree? Looks like it. Kageyama's getting mad every time he's called the king. This is making me think. Wouldn't he want to be called the king? Maybe something bad happened to him. Okay, are we gonna get a rewind here into everybody's backstory? Because I've got a lot of questions about these characters and how they ended up the way they are, but he, interesting, okay. In the face. kid in middle school right so would I think it kind of makes sense that he would have that swagger that confidence and then coming in as a first year where there's like a little bit of uncertainty to kind of like change his attitude a little bit I agree with Tanaka he's definitely not a cool guy but I feel like that's a natural transition going from being the oldest to the youngest I don't know Please, not in his face. Hey, 
君が初日から問題を起こしたっていう一年<笑> T シャツ寒っずっと帰れよ小学生は帰宅の時間じゃないの<笑>誰なんだお前ら入部予定の他の一年かおいタッパーだ俺が戻してお前身長はおいツッキーは百八十八センチあるんだぜもうすぐ百九十だ百九。なんでお前が自慢すんの山口。Suki 6-2. Okay, we're getting some bigger athletes here. I know you guys. I got some shade because I said that Kageyama wasn't very tall at 5'11. My bad. Compared to me, he's not. 6-2, though. Okay, this guy. I think he's the middle blocker. Prediction one coming true? Maybe. Okay, not loving this guy on my first impression. Definitely giving Kageyama a taste of his own medicine, maybe? Again with the King reference, and he's hating that. Give me that backstory, oh, but don't. I'm gonna find out, right? But this guy has got some attitude. Is he confident? Is he just a jerk? Suki, let me get his full name. I hope I find it out. What a smug little jerk. Have they played each other before? Do they know each other? Did anybody see his face on that jump when he not just jumped over his head? Dude was shocked. Okay. <sighs> he is pressing some buttons here. I don't know if he just knows that Kageyama is a jerk and is like preparing and being rude back or if he's like actually that terrible. Um, do they know each other? He's a first year, right? But... My little jumping bean just scared him. Tsukishima and Yamaguchi. 
Did I say that right? Tsukishima and Yamaguchi? Kageyama and Hinata finding some common ground, finally. <gasps> Nothing like a mutual enemy to bring people together. Look at them. They're going to bond over their hatred for Tsukushima. I don't know if I said that right. It was a long name. I kind of forgot it. Just what they needed. He knows what he needs to do to get what he wants. <laughs> I like this sequence. He's putting in the work, getting crushed outside with Kageyama every day, biking home in the dark, biking to school in the dark. Like, I, I like these sequences. They're actually really inspiring. Suga stepping in, oh, this guy. Kageyama always with his juice box. Is it game day? Is it game day? Oh my gosh, I really hope this works out for them. Oh. Okay, wow, they switched the ball on me. They were using red, green, and white balls, which I, in my experience, are Moltens. And now they are playing with a yellow and blue ball, which is Mikasa. Yes, I have been around that long that I know the brand. Why is this happening? Oh, wow, good collapse move on that dig. <laughs> oh, dang. He's got that platform down. His little arms are turning red. Go! Yes. Uh, oh. Suga, he's my boy. <gasps> 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 
His gift is not his physical size, it's something else. This episode is full of some great quotes. His gift is not his physical size, it's something else. Yes, you don't have to look a certain way or have certain talents for volleyball. There is literally a place for everyone, regardless of your age, your size, your skill level. There is somewhere you can play and like, to see this in Hinata, like his grit and his fight and his will is, and to hear Kageyama say that, oh, my heart, so great. Oh my god. Hinata will always have the strength for a spike. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm like gonna cry. Oh, I have goosebumps. He's gonna barf, poor thing. He works so hard. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this is what I was waiting for. Oh my ah oh. like literally almost shed a tear. Goosebumps. Dude, he just like showed who he was in that sequence. Like Keep it coming. I am not going to let this ball hit the ground. He proved to Kageyama that he will do whatever it takes. That symbolism with Kageyama finally setting him and him like making sure to get up and swing on it. <sighs> it's only episode three and I'm like almost crying. That sequence was it. <laughs> Did they just become best friends? <gasps> he is pumped to play. <laughs> Oh, cutie. They were racing? Give me a break. I still think Kageyama wins the staring contest. That's that's scary. So that episode ended on a staring contest. Um, I thought they were gonna play. I got very excited. So it looks like we're gonna have to wait until next episode to see who wins this game. Tsukishima. Again, sorry if I'm saying his name wrong. It was a very long name. Not my favorite, but 
huge strides made in the Hinata and Kageyama department. And, oh, I mean, okay, going a little far, they're not best friends yet, but the mutual respect is starting to grow, which is a big step one. So I am so excited for the next episode. Suga is my dude. Daichi, he wasn't in this one, but he will always be my dude unless he like completely does something crazy. Um, but I loved this. This episode was very inspiring. That sequence that I keep talking about, like get out the tissues. Um, if this is only episode three, I feel like I'll be crying a lot because A, I am emotional and B, it's the very beginning. So stay tuned for that. Wow, okay. Send me all the info in the comments. You guys are amazing. Um, yes. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I am so jazzed about this anime show, so stay tuned for my next Haikyuu reaction and stay tuned for more volleyball related content. Thanks you guys.